Today's lesson is a continuation of yesterday's covering 6.3 in the textbook Complex Fractions. It should be a quick one. All we're going to do is look at three examples of more complicated problems just to give you a little more practice with this. Um, so looking at this first example here, what I notice here is that in the numerator, I can rewrite these two fractions so that they have a common denominator. I'm able to do that because I know here that this denominator, 4 minus x, is the opposite of x minus 4, which is the denominator in the first term, which means I can take this second fraction here, 2 over 4 minus x, and rewrite it as 2 over the opposite of x minus 4, and then move the negative up into the numerator to make it negative 2 over x minus 4. So let's begin this problem by rewriting the numerator so that the denominators are the same. So my first fraction is 3 over x minus 4, and my second fraction becomes negative 2 over x minus 4. All right, then I can combine that top fraction because the denominators are the same. So I'm going to rewrite that 3 minus negative 2 becomes 3 plus 2, which is 5. So my numerator simplifies to 5 over x minus 4. My denominator is 2 over x minus 4 minus 2 over x. Let's find the LCD and clear the fractions. Because I have fractions within fractions, my LCD for all of these fractions would be x times x minus 4. So let's clear the fractions by multiplying the numerator by the LCD and multiplying the denominator also by the LCD. When I multiply in the numerator, the x minus 4s cancel, leaving me with x times 5. So my numerator just becomes 5x. And the denominator, when I distribute to the first term, the x minus 4s cancel, leaving me with x times 2, which is just 2x. And then when I distribute to the second term, the x's cancel, leaving me with 2 times x minus 4. Simplifying, I get 5x over 2x minus 2x plus 8. The 2x's cancel, leaving me with 5x over 8. Moving on to example 2. Let's use the same method here. I look at all six of my denominators, x squared, xy, y squared, x squared, xy, y squared, my LCD is going to be x squared, y squared. Let's clear the fractions by multiplying the numerator by the LCD and distributing it to all three terms, multiplying the denominator by the LCD, distributing it to all three terms. x squared, y squared times 2 over x squared. The x squareds will cancel, leaving me with y squared times 2. So my first term in the numerator is 2y squared. x squared, y squared times 1 over xy, one of the x's and one of the y's will cancel, so the denominator goes away, leaving me with xy in the numerator, minus, when I distribute to the sec third fraction, the y squareds cancel, leaving me with x squared times 1, and then let's repeat the process in the denominator. x squared y squared times 1 over x squared, the x squares will cancel, leaving me with y squared times 1, minus x squared y squared times 3 over xy. One of the x's, one of the y's cancels. So I'm left with xy times 3, which is 3xy, plus, and when I distribute to the third term, the y squareds will cancel, leaving me with x squared times 2, or 2x squared. Okay, before we can finalize our answer, we need to see if we can factor. So in the numerator, to get 2y squared, I need a 2y and a y, and to get x squared, I need x and x. And then to get negative xy in the middle, the negative 2xy plus xy. And then in the denominator, y times y is y squared. 2x times x is 2x squared. And since the product is positive and the sum is negative, these are both negative. 
And I notice that the y minus x is a common factor. So my final answer simplifies to 2y plus x over y minus 2x. Moving on to our last example. Let's rewrite this one so that I have fractions or rational expressions. x plus 2 to the negative 1 becomes 1 over x plus 2 to the positive 1 plus 1 over x minus 2 all over 1 over x squared minus 4. All right, to find my LCD, I need to factor that term in the denominator. So the numerators are already factored for me, 1 over x plus 2 plus 1 over x minus 2. My denominator becomes 1 over x plus 2 times x minus 2. And then I look at all of my fractions to find an LCD, and the LCD is going to be x plus 2 times x minus 2. I'm going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by that LCD in order to clear the fractions, distributing to each term. So when I distribute to the first term, I see that the x plus 2s will cancel, leaving me with x minus 2 times 1. So that term will simplify to just x minus 2. Plus, when I distribute to the second fraction, the x minus 2s cancel, leaving me with x plus 2 times 1, so just x plus 2. And then in the denominator, both terms will cancel, leaving me with just 1. Simplifying my numerator, I get 2x over 1, which is just 2x. And that's it for today. Have a good one.